the situation in FDC. Good to have you, Honorable. Thank you. Now, I want to be very brief. Could you explain to us some of more about the allegations of the money and property within the FDC party? What exactly happened? You see, the party is supposed to have internal election. Mm -hmm. The National Executive Committee to which I sit said these elections should stay until a number of things are done, including investigation and conclu concluding the issues of money. Mm -hmm. A committee of elders was set up. Next week on 28th, we'll have a national council to receive a report on that money. Where did that money come from? Mm -hmm. Why did it come? Why was it spent the way it was spent? Because that money has become a very big problem in our party. Our colleagues, instead of waiting for these processes to take place, mm -hmm. are calling for elections. Elections, elections. Now they are decided they will start today. Now they are starting Friday as a cover-up. We all want elections, mm -hmm. but you deal with the issues that are, have been raised in the pattern and then go for elections when everybody's heart is clean. Honorable Samuju, mm -hmm. the timing, why is this coming out now? Because we have failed all the internal processes to have these matters resolved. And uh, are, our colleagues want to use this election to push out pe people in the party who are demanding that please tell us where did this money come from? Because the amount is not known. Today they will tell you 300, another day 500, another day this and that. So that's why it has now come out, because I am one of those who say this matter is, should not be dealt with publicly. Mm -hmm. Let's go in, have some internal processes to have it concluded. Unfortunately for them, they are now singing one thing, elections, elections. The election themselves have issues. We have no voter register. Mm -hmm. We have not registered the people who are going to participate in these elections. And the Secretary General says in a, a, a June 6 letter that no, 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 no. Let's go and start elections. Then the register will emerge out of elections. I will even send you computers to, to register people. I mean, I said, you see, even Museven who steals the elections, he doesn't <coughs> do it this way. He will have vo people registered. Uh -huh. He will display voters register. And then he can proceed to cheat. But you can't start by cheating. And that's why it brings me. Do these allegations have any bearing looming on the looming internal elections coming through? The... They don't have any bearing. They should actually have been concluded. Because this, this money did not come yesterday. Mm. This money came 2021 20, elections. And there has been effort since then to have it resolved. It is now coming out because there is an attempt to cover it up. How and much that money are we talking about? Uh, nobody knows. Mujuche has been here. <laughs> Is the deputy treasurer general. He has told you he doesn't know. If a deputy treasurer general in, in charge of fundraising doesn't know the money, where it came, who spent it, and they have told you it was being spent in someone's house, I am a spokesperson. Mm -hmm. My source of information should be the treasurer. The treasurer, the t deputy has told you we don't know. But money came. But money came, and it was confirmed it came. Where do we go from here as a party FDC? No, no, you cannot seek to hold Mr. Museveni accountable when you are not. We have a duty as a party to first sort out our internal issues and then we can go to the public ourselves. Because we keep quarreling with Museven for mm. misusing public resources. We have a duty, a political party is a public institution. That's why we declare returns with the electoral commission every year. This is not a private firm. Mm. It is a public institution. The FDC is not an institution of FDC members and leaders. It's a public institution. That's why under the Political Parties and Organizations Act, mm -hmm. The taxpayers' money is used by all the parties that are represented in Parliament. So we owe it to the public. Do you see a split a party in the coming days? And just to look at the precedent we had with the Democratic Party the other time, do you see this coming to the FDC? Our fear, and that's what I've told the FDC leaders today, is that if you're not careful, the troubles of DP started that way. People thought they were calling over elections and positions, yet they, they had a genuine complaint against Tony Bono Batamao. They were being dismissed as tribalist by Uganda. Mm -hmm. Eventually, Mao has taken a DP to NRM. Our colleagues are doing the same thing. They don't like us because we come from this region. Mm -hmm. Please, we are telling them, if you want to go and join Museveni, go and join. You cannot go with our party. And that is going to be a fight. They cannot go with our party. This is my final question to you, Honorable. Will you be a candidate for presidency for the FDC in the coming elections? I have even told the people are sharing today, mm. even to be a spokesperson, I never filled the forms. 
that I FDs people went and filled the forms because they thought I can, I can, I can help the party. Mm -hmm. I am busy as an MP quarreling with NRM thieves every day, 24 hours. This is a very difficult job. Mm. I, I have to keep reading and thinking throughout the night. Mm. To, to divide that energy and give part of it to FDC really is a very big calling. Mm. I, I am not interested in any position in FDC. I am interested in a healthy political constitution because I belong to it. If there are other people who can come and take over leadership and they are mm. clean, I, I will stand before them and be behind them and cheer. Thank you so much, Honorable Samujungander, for 